what started a couple of years ago for us as a, as a suicide prevention breakfast has, has morphed slightly. Um, two reasons. One is the word suicide is shit. Like suicide doesn't, you know, as a word, as a thought pattern, it does, doesn't offer anything to anybody. Um, so we wanted to get away from suicide as a as a rule. Um, and, and we sort of found ourselves and aligned ourselves with the word resilience, which is a whole whole nother ball game. Like the um, resilience means different things to different people, but you know, for for I and us, it's it's um, the ability to bounce back and and stand back up when something knocks you down. Us staunch Kiwi males are reluctant to show vulnerability um, because we think it will make us look weak or, or whatever which means that instead of sharing the little things before they get too heavy to carry, we're more likely to cover them up with bullshit, bravado, and probably a substance or two. On the other side of that, too many of us are still caught up in this mentality where the struggles are seen as weak, so people that might want to say something don't want to say anything to us because we're not open to it, uh, which means that nothing gets said at all and the cycle just keeps on going around and around and nothing improves. The inner critic is the biggest problem in mental health today. If you ask any mental health expert, what's the biggest problem in mental health, they will complicate the issue and say, oh, there's so many different things, you know, it's, it's, it, it's bullying, it's suicide ideation, it's depression, it's anxiety, that's all bullshit. Those are all outcomes, as Paul, as Paul pointed out, they're all outcomes. They are because of. Before all of that becomes that little voice of doubt that's in everyone's head. Everyone else is doing it better than me. Everyone else is better at this shit than I am. It's the number one reason kids give me for not talking to their parents. I don't want to disappoint them. We're all fucking up. It happens all the time. We all have two voices in our heads, the inner critic and the voice of reason. We need to lift the voice of reason up and we need to quieten the inner critic down. The final lesson in mental health, no one's got their shit together. No one's got the shit together. We're all just fucking pretending and we're trying our best. But I guarantee you, if you start taking your mask off and start focusing on some of the positive things that are happening in our kids' lives, not only will your mental health improve, but the mental health uh, of, of your kids will improve too. And I tell you this, brothers and sisters, if you take off your masks and you show your kids your vulnerable side, they will take off their masks and they will introduce you into a world that you never knew existed. And your life will change forever. Please don't be too proud. Do not be too proud because we all have struggles. We all have struggles and we all go through tough times, but with the willingness, things do turn around. And I've got a close group of mates and a couple of them are here and also the Waghorn boys too. Like they've been there for me every step of the way. Um, and I'd just like to thank them for that. And once again, like seeing the amount of people that are here today, it shows that mental health is still a big topic, isn't it? You know, like for, for all of us, and especially working in construction. Guys, construction's the, the hardest sector to work in as far as I'm concerned. You've got, you know, you've got pressure coming from the top and the bottom, you've got long hours, you've got physically hard work, it's mentally hard, but please make sure you're looking after yourself guys and, and just drop the ego. This is what I stood up and said last year and it's, um, it's been shown to myself that we still need to drop the egos, I need to drop my ego. If you're struggling, reach out and, and also keep an eye on your mates too. It's a good lesson to really understand and, and concentrate on that mental health and you know in the right in the right way and in, in the in that right direction. So um, thanks for that, Mike, and uh, and thanks to Paul and Max for for sharing your um, your experiences as well. Thank you.